Ghana is among the largest producers of shea nut in the world. The country exports an average of 60,000 metric tons per year and engages over 3,500 local women in the shea value chain in the northern region. However, research has revealed that women engaged under the sector lacks the needed capital to improve their production capacities since they are faced with high cost of transport and poor road network linking production sites and market centers. The Minister for Food and Agriculture, Alaji Mohamed Lemuna Muniru, urged stakeholders in the share industry to acquire the needed knowledge to help them address challenges in their businesses. He was speaking at the launch of a book on the share industry entitled Ghana Share Industry, Knowing the Fundamentals. The share industry in Ghana is developing at a fast pace and there is the need for industry players to acquire knowledge on emerging issues in the industry. I believe the launch of this book is very timely as it will provide some insights and strategies on how to address some of the industry challenges. It is my hope that the information provided in the book will contribute to narrowing the gap in knowledge that exists in the industry. I also believe that the knowledge shared in this book will be useful to policy makers in the formulation of the appropriate policies for the share industry. The author of the book, who is currently the Pro Vice Chancellor of the University for Development Studies, Professor Said Walassan, has called on the policy makers to put a ban on cutting down of the share trees. This country is an agrarian. It depends on agriculture, and it's like everything in agriculture is free, it's natural, it's God's gift. So people just take it as a kind of a natural thing they do. So somebody cuts the tree without even thinking about the implication of the cotton to his or her livelihood. Those who go to the extent of using the trees for other domestic use, like burning it for charcoal, cutting it to perform even funerals and outdoor ceremonies. I think that one, there should be a complete ban. Policymakers, we have to come out clearly and ensure that district chief executives, even our traditional authorities, they all come together and put a complete ban on the cutting of shea trees in this part of the country. If we are not able to do that and we allow them to continue misusing this important economic resource, Within the next few years, I think that crop may vanish. The Sanargu Na Abdullah Yakubu urged the scientific community to institute more research work to reduce the maturity period as well as the negative impact of the residue to the environment. From Tamale, Noanash, for Vasa One News.